Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing something a little different. As you'll notice, this is not the usual day I post my reading my stories update. Um, today we are going to do an unboxing video. Uh, it's kind of like an unboxing video and a book haul because I ordered some books online and they finally got here today. So I'm very excited. Um, I ordered them from Book Outlet, so I got them cheaper than I usually would, um, and I got a bunch of books, and I'm really excited about them. I don't remember everything I got, um, so it'll be kind of like a little fun surprise. So, uh, we'll just get right to it. Okay, so my first book is one I do remember getting. I got the graphic novel edition of Champion by Marie Lu. Um, I love the Legend Trilogy. It's one of my favorite books. I love Marie Lu. Um, I don't have <laughs> Legend or Prodigy in the graphic novel, uh, so it's kind of like my only one, but um, it was there and I wanted it, so I got it, so I'll need to get the first two. But this is a fun addition, so I'm gonna set that on my floor. Next, I'm so excited for this one. Just, what is it? Just a boy and a girl in a little canoe. Um, I heard it coming out i heard about it when it first came out was it last year was it a year ago when did it come out i'm gonna check 2020 it was last year um this one and stay gold which um both of those i really wanted to get so this is on the book outlet site i don't believe stay gold was or i would have gotten it um, I really need to get stable, but I'm very excited about this one too. So there's that. We've got Alice by Heart, which I'm so excited for. Um, this is, I don't think it's based on the musical, but I think the musical is based on this book. Um, and it was an off-Broadway musical that I haven't gotten to see and I haven't listened to yet, but I really need to. So I'm very excited to read this book, Alice, Alice by Heart. We've got Enchante, uh, which I believe is set in Paris. Yes, it is. Um, and I really love books set in Paris because I am a French teacher. Um, so after I read this, or maybe before I read this, I'll probably put this in my classroom for Enchante. What else have I got? Ooh, Anna Kay. I've been wanting to read this one too. Um... I don't remember where I first saw this. I might have seen this for the first time in Barnes and Noble and I thought it looked cute. Um, I, I have so many books on my to be read list that I honestly forget what books I've put on there and why and like what they're about. So I just remembered seeing this and wanting to get it. So that's why I got it. But Anna Kay, a love story. I'm very excited to read. And like I've been having a lot of trouble reading lately um so I'm really looking forward I'm hoping this will like kind of kick me into reading again this one is full disclosure I'm so excited to read this one uh this is by Cameron Garrett who I follow on Twitter um she also just released another book uh off the record I believe that I'm really excited about. This one is about an HIV positive teen which I think is so cool and I also think that this author wrote this when she was in high school. Um, so I'm really excited to read this uh, because I do follow her on Twitter and she's really awesome and yeah. Okay next one I've got Seven Ways We Lie. I remember seeing this in Barnes & Noble um, and thinking, yeah, I'll read that. Oh, Riley Redgate. I have their other book, um, one of their other books. What is that called? I don't remember what it's called, but it's about a girl who uh, masquerades as a guy to get into uh, an acapella group um, because she's got like such a low singing voice. And so she masquerades as a guy to get in there. I think just so she can sing. Um, I started that. I don't think I ever finished it. What is, is it like high note? Maybe Riley Redgate. No, I'm excited to read this. Ooh, I've got war of the cards. Um, I definitely have the first book. I think I actually have the first two of this. I think this one is the third one. Yeah. The final book and the queen of hearts trilogy. 
So I've got this. I haven't read them yet, but I need to. I really love retellings, especially Alice in Wonderland retellings. I've got like Alice in Zombieland. I've got Alice by heart now. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. What else have we got? Ooh, they went left. This is from Walmart, apparently. Um, I have Girl in the Blue Coat, and I think I might have The War Outside as well. Um, but I really love historical fiction, uh, and they're really cute. So they went left. Very excited. Okay, ooh, I've got Hamilton and Peggy. I'm a big musical fan. So I've got um, Alex and Eliza, obviously. I've got that entire trilogy. I've got, I think that's all I have. I don't think I, did I get the Hamilton book? I don't remember, but I'm excited to read this. Um, I always love retellings when they're focused less on the um, main character. And so I'm excited. I think this is about Peggy. So I'm excited to read about Peggy. Okay, we're, this is so many books. I know it is. I bought a lot. Okay, I am not your perfect Mexican daughter. I've been wanting to read this for a while. Oh, it's a little bent. Um, I've been wanting to read this for a long, long time. When did it come out? Honestly, some of these books feel like, feels like they came out forever ago, but that could just be because 2020 was like three years long. 2017, it did come out a while ago. This is when I was graduated high school. Um. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading this. There's something about Sweetie. I haven't read When Dimple Met Rishi yet, I believe. I think, yeah. This is the companion novel to that. So, oh, do I need to read that first before I read this? I don't know. This was on Book Outlet. When Dimple Met Rishi was not. So, um... We'll see if I need to read that. I don't know. I'm excited to read this. I think it's really cute. I just love romances, um, particularly YA romances. I just think they're so sweet. I love first love and stuff like that. Um, it's something that I'm writing about. Um, so I'm just really excited. Okay, we've got Field Notes on Love. Jennifer E. Smith. I love Jennifer E. Smith. She writes the cutest romances. Um, a lot of her books are, they're turning into movies currently. I believe this book actually, um, they just announced that they're going to make it a movie with Dove Cameron and Jordan Fisher. So we'll see how that works. Um, my favorite of her books is The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight. I'm really looking forward to that movie. So we'll see if this one beats out my favorite. I doubt it because I love the statistical probability of love at first sight. But Field Notes on Love sounds pretty cute too. And the last book, Strange New World by Rachel Vincent. I have a couple of her books. Um, the one that really brought to my attention is Menagerie by Rachel Vincent, which is actually an adult book, I believe. And I don't remember why that brought why that came to my attention. Um, but I have it now, and so whenever I see her books, I'm just like, oh, I'll try it. So, yeah, Strange New World. Okay. And I have no idea how many books that was, like 14 maybe, I think. So that is my book haul, uh, my online book haul. So, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you later this week for the next installment of Rereading My Old Stories. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Bye!